India's daughter centers on an interview in jail with one of the men convicted of the gang rape and murder of Joyti Singh. Blaming the victim for the attack, Mukesh Singh went on to say that had she not fought back, the men would have dropped her off after doing it, in his words, and only hit the young man she was with. The sentiments have triggered an uproar across India. The government has banned the film, labelling it a conspiracy to defame India. Protesters in Uttar Pradesh in northern India supported the government ban Sunday and said the convicted men should be hanged immediately. How is the permission given to shoot the documentary on the Delhi gang rape? We are protesting against it. The United States premiere of India's Daughter took place in New York Monday night. Among the stars expressing support was Indian actress Frida Pinto. This is, a, this is a problem that inflicts almost every country in the world. There is not a single country in 2015 that is free of sexual violence against women. And hence this is a very important cause for me to take on. The film's director, British filmmaker Leslie Udwin, says the attitude of the rapist in the documentary runs through Indian society. I got an insight and an understanding into the way he views women. And that is what is extremely shocking. Not what he did, but what he thinks that led him to do what he did. And it's not just he who thinks that, it's a societal problem. But critics say the film gives a platform to the murderers and does not offer a full picture. Amitabh Kumar is with the Center for Social Research in New Delhi. This documentary is also a certain step in the movement, but where do we go towards? Are we going to just uh, go by the mentality that what bleeds, that leads, that we'll sell that? The incident prompted nationwide protests in 2012. Since then, India has tightened its laws on rape. But rights groups say, in reality, little has changed. Amnesty International's Christina Zampas. And it's important that India pass laws that are effective, that they implement those laws, that they train police to be gender sensitive, so that women, uh, when they do report a rape, are treated sensitively and are given the care that they need and that women actually participate in the development of laws. Producers say the release of the film is the first step in a worldwide campaign against gender inequality and sexual violence against women and girls. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.